Ciao friends! Beth with Thimblehooks. Thanks for stopping by today. I've been working on a new pattern that's full of sunflowers. So I thought I would show you how to make a sunflower granny square the way that I make them. Because I'm working on a really cool project that I'll show you later. Not done yet, so it's going to take a little bit. But we can make one granny square. I'll show you two different ways. So, I am using Karen Simply Soft. I think this one is just called Off White. Yep, yeah. Karen Simply Soft Off White for the border here. And this is Karen Simply Soft Taupe, which is the brown. And one of my favorites, I just love this. This is Land Brands Ice Cream Cotton Blend. And this one is called Lemon. But it's all swirly. I thought it, look, it looks more like sunflowers than it does than it does look like lemon ice cream to me anyway. So I thought that was perfect. So there's two ways we can make our granny square. You make the little circle here and make two rounds of the yellow or big in the middle with just one round, which is what I did in my big project that I'm working on. I did it this way because it looks a little bit more like sunflower. Sunflowers have that really big spot in the middle, so that's what we're going to do. So we start with the magic circle. If you're not familiar with the magic circle, I have a really easy tutorial. It's only a couple minutes long to do it the easy way, which is this. Boom. Magic circle. Done. Super easy. Magic circle, magic ring, whatever you want to call it. In our ring, we want to put eight single crochets. And I'm going to mark that first stitch. I love my stitch markers, but when I'm working in the round, it's really easy to get lost and I don't want to stop and count my stitches. So we're going to put eight in our ring. Two. And there's my eight. Now we can pull our circle closed and in that first stitch that we have marked we will just do a slip stitch. Chain one and in our same stitch that we just had marked we're going to put in a double crochet. And mark our first stitch and another double crochet in that same stitch. We're doing an increase up to 16. So that means since we started with eight in our magic ring, we need two in every stitch all the way around. So two double crochets all the way around, increase up to 16. And 16. So now we just want to close our circle up with a slip stitch into our marked stitch. So now we have a circle. Pull that center nice and tight. So now if you want to change colors, make it with the little one. Finish off right here. I'm going to make this one. So there's our 16 stitches for the center. So now our next round will be chain one. And we're going to do a three yarn over puff in every stitch. So I will show you how to do this little puff stitch. Yarn over, through, yarn over, pull up, yarn over again. The second time go through and one more time. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven loops on our hook. Yarn over, pull through everything, and chain one to close our puff. Do that one more time. So it's yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull up, yarn over, pull through, pull up, and yarn over, pull through, and pull up, yarn over, pull through everything, and chain one to close. So we want to have 16 of those all the way around. And here's my last three yarn over puff. Chain 
chain one to close. And now to close this round of our circle, go in between the first and the second puff. And that's where you do your slip stitch. I think it looks a lot better that way. I, you know, I don't like knots. So hopefully it doesn't show very much. I really hate it when the knots show. But there's our center right here. Again, I was using a five millimeter hook. This is my Addy that I love so much. Five millimeter hook with my Karen Simply Soft and with the Lion brand, which calls for a five. So that's why I'm using a five. So now we can finish off our brown. Just snip. And finish that off any way you need to. However you like to finish off when you change the colors in your granny square. I just did a normal fasten off there. Now we're going to move on to this yellow that I love so much for the next round right here. Again, if you wanted to do two rounds, you would have done the puff round in the yellow. So now we're going to work on this round right here. So we're fasten on in between any puffs that you wish. Just pick a puff, pick two puffs and go in between and fasten on. And I do chain one. And now we are going to do what I've always called a double crochet cluster, but I believe it's also called a bobble. So we're going to yarn over and do a double crochet. Just go through the first two loops, but don't finish your stitch. Do that one more time. So there's our second one. Go through two. There's our third time go through two and one more. Go through two. Now we have five loops on our hook. I'm going to yarn over, pull through everything, chain one to close and one more chain. So let's do that again. So let's yarn over, pull through, pull through two. Do not finish do not finish your double crochet. You want four of those together. So there was the first one, there's the second one, yarn over, pull through two, there's our third one, yarn over, pull through two, and there's our last one, five loops on our hook, yarn over, pull through everything, chain one to close and chain one more. We're going to do that all the way around. Again, we'll have 16. You also probably would be best if you start working over these tails if you don't want to have to work too many ends in at the end. So in between every puff we're going to do another cluster or another bobble. And I'm going over my yarn this time. And here's my last bobble stitch or four double crochet cluster through two, through two, through two, through two. Yarn over, pull through everything, chain one to close and chain more. Chain one more. And now to close up this round, go in between these two bobbles right here with a slip stitch and finish off that color. So now we have all of this. Now it's time to make corners. All right, so now I'm going to get off my off-white, Karen Simply Soft off-white and we're going to make a corner. You just want to fasten on anywhere, any, anywhere you want to. It just has to be in between our bobbles. I 
and we are going to chain four. One, two, three, four. Let's mark that fourth stitch. Mark that fourth chain because we're going to need it in a little while. So there's four chains and then three more. One, two, three. So we chain seven, which is a triple crochet and a chain three. Now we're going to yarn over twice. In that same space, do three triple crochets. One, two, and yarn over twice. Pull through two, pull through two, and pull through two. There's half of our first corner. A little bit more than half, actually. In our next chain space, three double crochet. In our next chain space, three half double crochet. One, two, and three. Oh, I found my tail, so I'm going to work around it. And our next chain space is three double crochets. So we're doing a little granny cluster. One, two, and three. And now it's time to make another corner. So our corners are three triple crochets, chain three, and three triple crochet all in the same spot. So yarn over twice, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. And then chain three. And three more triple crochets. Whoopsie. Yarn over twice. So there's a corner. So over here we did half a corner. Three doubles, three half doubles, three doubles, and there's our corner, which is three triple crochets, chain three, three triple crochets. Now we're going to do that same sequence again. Three double in the next chain space. Three half double. Three double. And another corner, which is three triples. Chain three. And repeat that sequence all the way around so you get almost to the end. Here's my last set of three double crochets before I get back to our first corner. One, two, three. And now we're going to finish this corner. So we have three triple crochets and our chain three and a triple crochet. So in that same space, we're going to add two more triple crochets. So it's two yarn overs, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. Pull through two two yarn overs, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. And now we mark this stitch. We want to slip stitch into the fourth chain. Slip, stitch, and finish off. And we can take out our marker. And that's all there is to it. And I get to hide my knot because I hate when knots show. So it kind of hides out in the corner by starting out with 
by starting out with our triple crochet and our chain three with our technically was a chain seven right here. I get to have my knot way over here in the corner where it's probably going to disappear into my work because what we're making is this. I'm not going to tell you what it is yet, but start making a whole bunch of sunflower squares and then we will get back to this project after I have my pattern complete. So thanks for stopping by. Thanks for supporting my small business. Please subscribe to Thimble Hooks. Tell all your friends about me. Make a bunch of squares and join me back sometime in the near future. Uh, I don't know exactly when I'll have it done, but I'm designing right now. So join me back with a big pile of squares. Thanks. Bye.